everyone, this tutorial is going to cover how to create a news item within your course. The first thing that you'll need to do is come up here and select the course that you are trying to edit. For the fall semester 2014, you're going to select 2015S1. Once you're in your course, to create a news item, you simply click on the arrow and then you click New News Item. You can use a news item for a variety of things. You can use it to give your students reminders, to post a quick video you'd like for them to watch at home, to link directly to a Dropbox assignment um, or a discussion assignment, to link directly to content, and a lot more that I'm going to highlight in this video. So the first thing you will want to do in this news item is give your news item a title. So, for instance, in this language arts class, uh, the students are currently studying the Crucible and the Puritans. So this teacher wants to give her students a reminder about things they need to accomplish before the end of the week. So the first thing that she can do is greet her students by using a replacement string. In the news directions found in this checklist, you can download the document that shows you all of the different options for the replacement string. The replacement string that I want to use here is going to be the student's first name. So to do this, I'm going to simply put a brace, which is going to be not bracket, you press the shift down, and you do the brace right there, it's located next to the P key, and then I'm just going to type in first name. Notice there's no space between first and name and then I close the brace and then I can do a comma. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically populate the student's name so they feel as if they've gotten a personalized message. Next I can type my text. Please don't forget to do the following this week. Submit to the Dropbox. Now here I want the students to be able to click on the word Dropbox and go directly into that Dropbox. So the way that I do this is I insert a quick link. Now the quick link tab is going to be right here and so I click insert and then look at all of these items that I can quick link to. I can link directly to a content file I can really link directly to a file in my manage files. I can link directly to a discussion. And here I want to actually do a Dropbox. So I'm going to click on Dropbox. And then once I click on Dropbox, all of my Dropboxes that I've already created will appear here. Now if I haven't created a Dropbox for an assignment, notice that I can create it directly in here if I choose to do so. So here I want my students to be able to submit to this Crucible character map drop box that I already s created. So notice when I click on that, this automatically becomes a link that then the students can click on and it takes them straight to the Dropbox. So rather than coming up here when they log in and clicking Dropbox, it's just an easier way for them to get to the Dropbox. So that is quick links. I could also link to a discussion. Please respond to two people in the Crucible discussion forum. And so here, oops, I would like to highlight this and I would like to create a quick link that is going to go directly to my Crucible discussion forum. And then I click directly there and it will insert that link right there. Okay. Maybe next I'd like to link to a website that I want them to look at. Please read through the following website about the Puritans. And then here I can either highlight the word I want to link to, and then I can click insert quick link, and then I can click URL. Here I can submit the URL and then I can type in what I want it to say, Puritan website. And then I can decide do I want it to open up in the same frame of this um, software or do I want to 
have it take up the whole window or do I want to open it up in a new window? I typically like to open it up in a new window so then they can easily get back to their, um, their course page. So then you click insert and it might take a second but there it appears right there and so now the students should be able to click directly on that and go straight to that website. Um, before, I, after I finish a news item, I always like to check to make sure that all of my links work. And I like to check as a student, so I can go up here and I can click view as student um, after I create the news item. But before we create this, I want to give my students a reminder to um, watch a particular video. So I can either link to the video or I can embed the video. So that's now we're going to talk about insert stuff. So here I can say before Friday, please watch the following video on YouTube. And then I can either quick link the YouTube link there or I can actually have the video play within this um, item right here, within this news item. So let me show you how to do that since you already know how to quick link. So here you're going to click on insert stuff and you will notice that within your news item you could actually insert a file from your computer if you wanted to so maybe some um, questions that go along with the video remember to always choose your destination in your manage files where you would like this file to appear in your in the sort of the back office of your course um, so that everything stays organized and then you also see that you could attach um, things directly, items directly from your manage files. This is your course offering files. Um, you could attach links here as well, just another way to put in a link. Um, you could find the YouTube video directly in here, or you could find an embed code for a video maybe on another website and enter that embed code in there, kind of like how everyone did their embed codes with their, um, their on my calendar calendars. So here I'm just going to insert a YouTube video. Okay, and then I'm going to type in the Salem Witch Trials. Now one very important reminder about these videos is that because they are, even though we are in E-Class and we're inserting this in E-Class, because they are directly tied to YouTube, the students will not be able to show the, to watch these videos from school. Um, the only way to get a video off of YouTube for students to watch is to actually download the video and we'll cover that in a different tutorial um, or you could just come see Marsha or Joni and we can show you how. So I have already previewed this video and I know that it's something that I would like to use so I'm going to click next once I select it. I gotta be a little patient sometimes it's a little slow and this shows you this is how this video is going to look and then I'm going to click insert and there is my video which kind of looks like it's just an image that you can drag around. Now I want to actually move it down to the next line so it looks a little bit prettier so all I did was I pressed enter okay and that's how to insert a YouTube video. If I found a video that is an actual file like an mp4, a WMV then I could go to insert stuff and I could actually insert the video file. So I could go to videos and then I could insert that WMV file. I could choose the destination in my manage files that I'd like for it to go into. So I'm going to put this into a folder called videos and then I hit select. So this is kind of equivalent to saving things to certain pathways on your shared drive or your H drive. And then I'm going to upload and we'll see what a video file looks like. This is a little bit of a longer video, but this is just another option for inserting videos into your news items or really into any HTML editor. You could also do this directly into your content. Okay, it's going to ask me once it uploads the video, it's going to ask me what do I want this link text to say. So this video is about wildlife, which has nothing to do with the Salem Witch Trials, but um, we're just going to type in the name of it here and then we're going to um, decide do we want it to start playing automatically um, and we could click that if we wanted to but we could just go ahead and keep it simple and press insert and then there our video will appear. It looks like it will not play um, directly right here as you're editing it 
um, but you can test it out and make sure that it works once you actually publish the news item. Okay? So because that video is so large, I'm going to go ahead and just delete it. I actually don't want this in my pretty news item, but I just wanted to show you the process. Uh, maybe the next thing you want to do in a news item is attach a Word document. So as you watch this video, please answer the questions found in this handout. So here we want to insert a file so we can grab it from our course offering files, our managed files, or if we have not uploaded it yet, we can browse and find that course file. So I'm going to open that file and then I'm going to choose the destination in my manage files. So I'm going to put this into a Puritan folder and then I'm going to select the path and there it appears and then I'm going to upload and it's going to ask me to link the text so I'm just going to call it Puritan Movie Notes and then I'm going to click insert and here is what it looks like this is they can click on this and it will automatically download the Word document now in general when you upload a document for students you typically want to upload it as a PDF because not everyone has Microsoft Word at home so the easy way to do that is just go to file save as and then select the PDF and then it will magically make your Word document into a PDF. So that's a good best practice for uploading documents. Okay, let's say the next thing that you want to do is add a picture just for fun. So maybe I'll put a reminder, please make sure you fill out the above video notes. Don't just watch the movie. Okay, and then maybe I want to insert this picture right here so I can click the little picture icon. I can get a picture from my course offering files, my managed files, if they already exist, or I can upload directly from my computer. And then notice I have this choose destination, which we know is very important to keep your managed files in order. So maybe I want to create a folder for my pictures, and then I hit create and I select the folder so that it stays all organized in my back office manage files and then I click add and just in case the image doesn't show up on certain computers or devices maybe I want to just give a, an alternative text of what does this image say but for this I'm just gonna say this image is decorative and then I'm gonna click add and it's gonna come in humongous, so I'm gonna to need to resize that. Okay, to resize my picture, I can drag this out to make it bigger so I can manipulate the picture, like so. I can click on these little arrows that make it toggle full screen and make it easier to grab the pictures and make it smaller. It's my little comic for them. Okay, and then I can click on the little arrows again to make it back to normal kind of resize this okay and then there is my picture and I can sign it you know if you have questions and then I can sign my name and then the next thing I want to show you is you can actually time your news items so they show up. So if you don't want your students to see this until perhaps um, tomorrow at 4 a.m., then you could time it so it won't appear until that time. You could also make it, you know you won't need this after this week, so rather than having to worry about going and Xing it out, you can make it disappear on Tuesday at 12 a.m. You could also attach files here as well as you could up here like we showed you if that's easier. Um, and you can actually attach release conditions so that students won't see this news item until maybe they finish a module or they submit a Dropbox or any of those options. Okay, once you feel good about your news item, you can click publish. 
and then it will take you to the screen in your back office where you can decide if you want to go back and um, edit it if you decide you want to add something later um, if you want to delete it you could click here click delete you could delete it there but let's go back home and let's see what it looks like okay now here is our beautiful news item that students see I can click and make sure that it goes straight to my Dropbox I can play the video remember this will not unblock it at school and I have my picture beautiful okay and that is news items please stop by if you have